So when you're solving an absolute value equation like this, the first thing you wanna do is actually get your whole absolute value by itself. Hi, I'm Sarah. I've been a STEM teacher for 20 years and I like to make math engaging and fun and not so scary for everyone involved. Follow me on all the social media platforms and check out my Patreon if you're interested in some tutoring, some Patreon only live streams, check it out and click the link and do the stuff. So I'm gonna add five to both sides. And so this is, since I'm solving an equation, this is where I do the inverse operation. So I go in like reverse PEMDAS order, right? So I wanna get that over there. So now I have three times the absolute value of two X plus one equals 12. And then I would divide both sides by three. So then I have the absolute value of two X plus one equals four. Absolute value is distance on a number line. So distance, when you're talking about on a number line, it doesn't have a sign. So the absolute value of something is not negative because it's just like the distance, right? So like the absolute value of negative six means that it is, is gonna be six because it's six spots away from the zero, okay? So in this case, what that means is that this two X plus one, if it equals four, then the absolute value would be four, right? If it equals negative four, the absolute value would also be four. So now you have to split this. So now I know that e so that two X plus one might actually equal four or two X minus, ah, sorry, two X plus one might actually equal negative four. And then when you take the absolute value, it's four. I'm knocking stuff off my table. Okay. So then once you get to this part, now you're just solving for X because there's two different values for X that you can have, okay? Most absolute value problems will end up with two solutions. Some end up with one, some end up with none, some end up with infinite, okay? Um, but most of the time, especially when you're first learning absolute value equations, it's gonna end up being two answers. Now they're not just like plus three minus three, plus two minus two. So let's solve these out and let's see. So if I subtract one, from both sides, I've got two X equals three, and then I would divide by two, and I would get X equals three over two. I go over here and I get two X equals negative five, divide by two, divide by two, so I get X equals negative five over two. So these are my solutions. Either one of these values is going to make my original problem true. That's mapped up.